Canelo Alvarez will be facing off against Gennady Golovkin again for the third time this coming September, I believe 17th of September. And many of us was waiting to see what Canelo Alvarez was going to do after his loss to Dimitri Bevel. Many were saying uh, he was going to rematch Bevel. Uh, it was going to be at 168 probably. Some thought he was going to go back up to 175 and try it again. And people also knew that it was a possibility he was going to fight Triple G. And sure enough, he's taking on Triple G. Then I'm also, I saw one article that said that he's fighting Bevel after Triple G. I, I don't know how true that is, but even though I, I, I'm still lost for words because I'm trying to figure out why in the fuck is he even fighting Triple G a third time. I mean... Nobody wants to see that shit, bro. I mean, the, the the mystique for that fight is over. I mean, when they fought the first time, before he fought him, everybody was wondering, you know, how how would Canelo do against a Triple G? Because, you know, Triple G being one of the hardest punchers in the sport, you know, everybody was like, okay, this is a good matchup for Canelo because Canelo's never been tested. He needs somebody that's going to really push him, somebody with some serious punching power. This, that, and the third. And uh, to a certain degree, that makes sense. But then when you look at it a little deeper, man, I mean, Triple G wasn't, I mean, he was a he was a power puncher, but he just didn't have the movement. He didn't have the footwork. You know, he didn't he didn't he didn't have that to to really beat Canelo. Cause as flat footed as Canelo is, in my opinion, he was still able to move pretty good in there against Triple G. And that's probably why uh Triple G wasn't as successful as he should have been. And on top of that, you know, um, I think most most top boxers, they have ring IQs, but I just think there's levels to the IQ game too. And I just think uh, Triple G probably didn't have the know with all to really defeat Canelo the way he should have, you know, to make it like a blowout, you know, kind of like what Beevil did. And... You know, with the first fight, I had uh, Triple G kind of edging that fight. That's what I mean. You know, it, it, when it comes to Canelo, it can't be just edging it out slightly. It got to be, you got to shut him out, you know, for most rounds if you're going to go to the decision, if you don't get the knockout. And we saw that in the first fight. You saw what happened. It ended up being a draw. And then in the second fight, Canelo got the nod. And I, I think Canelo did win in the second one. And in the third one, you know, people are anticipating how would it look, man. I mean, I don't want to get into that right here. When uh, everything is definitely confirmed and everything, then I'll probably do a prediction on that. After I watch a little bit more, I'll, I'll go back and watch some Canelo fights like this last two. And then I'll go back and watch uh, Triple G's last two. And then I'll probably come up with a, with a prediction for it. But I just don't want to see that bullshit, man. I mean... Not yet, bro. I mean, what, what, what weight is this going to be in? Is Canelo going to go? Is Gennady going to move up to 168? Is it going to be a catch weight? Canelo going back down to 160? Hey, man, look. If you go back down to 160, man, he definitely going to fuck his body up. I mean, 168 to 175. 175 all the way down to 160. Then he might go back up to 168 again. That's that's a lot, man. That's a lot. I think I think a lot of that is taking its toll on Canelo now, man. I really do. No, but I don't want to see that shit, man. I know a lot of people share that same sentiment, man, because we want to see him take care of his work at 168, man. For some reason, he's jumping around 168. He just don't want to. And we know the reasons why. That's a few reasons why, but... I think this fight with Triple G is a, in a sense, they took it because they needed to get some kind of redemption from that Bevo loss. And they probably looking at it like this is going to be an easy work. But, you know, this is boxing. And I will get into that officially when I do my prediction. But let me know what you think about the trilogy that is coming up between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Triple G Golovkin. 
Y'all know what it says already. Subscribe for more raw content, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing, man. And I'm here. Get at me later. Peace.